Welcome friends, this session is about numbers and mathematical operations. In this tutorial, we shall be covering data types, operators and type conversion. To represent numbers in Python, we have int, float and complex data types. For conditional statements, we have the bool data type. Now type ipython on the terminal to start the interpreter. Let's get started with numbers. We shall create a variable say x equal to 13 and let's confirm the value of x by typing printx. Yes, x contains 13. To check the data type of any variable, Python provides type function. So, type type of x tells us that the x is of type int. Let's create another variable, y equal to 99999 nine, 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 lots of nines, a big variable, and print y. We see that Python can store any integer, however big it is. Let's move on to decimals. Floating point numbers come under float data type in Python. So p equal to 3.141592 creates the variable p and type of p gives us float which means p is a floating point number. Python by default also provides support for complex numbers. So c equal to 3 plus 4j creates a complex number with the real part 3 and imaginary part 4. Please note that here j is used to specify the imaginary part and not i. We can check the type of c by typing type type of c and we see that it's complex. Python also provides basic functions for the manipulation of complex numbers like abs of c which gives us the absolute value of c which is 5.0. c.img gives us the imaginary part, c.real gives us the real part. Now let's move on to operations. All the basic operators work with Python data types without any surprises. When we try to add two numbers like x and y, Python takes care of returning the right answer. So print x plus y gives us the sum of two variables that we have created x and y. Same as additions, multiplications also works just right. So 1, 2, 3 star 4, 5, 6, 7 gives us the product of 1, 2, 3 into 4, 5, 6, 7. Integer division in Python truncates, which means when we divide an integer with another integer, the result is also an integer and the decimal value is truncated. So 17 by 2 returns 8 and not 8.5. But int and float value operations like 17 by 2.0 Will, re will return the correct value 8.5. Similarly, 17.0 by 2 will also return the correct answer. In Python, x star star y returns x raised to the power of y. For example, let's try 2 star star 3, which is 2 raised to the power of 3, and we get 8. Now let's try power operations involving a very big number. Type big equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, space, star, star, 3. As we know, any number irrespective of its size can be represented in Python. Hence, big is a really big number and print big prints the value of the very big number that is in the variable big. In Python, percentage operator is for modular operations. So, 45 percentage 2 will give you the remainder when 45 is divided by 2, which is 1. And few other operators which come handy are plus equal to. Now what is this plus equal to? Let's create a variable a equal to 7, 5, 4, 6 and a plus equal to 1. Now let's see what is an a. We see that a has been incremented by 1 which means a plus equal to 1 increments a by 1. Similarly a minus equal to 1 and print a. We see that a has been decremented. So a minus equal to decrements. We can also use a star equal to a. Here a is multiplied by itself and a by equal to 5 divides a by 5. Now we will look at the boolean data type. Boolean is a primitive data type having one of two values either true or false. So start typing t equal to capital T R U E true and print t. 
we see that it's true and type of t is a boolean and python being a case sensitive language true with a capital t is a boolean data type but true with a small t would not be a boolean data type and it will be a variable now type f equal to not true and print f we see that it's false we can also do binary operations like or and and not on all these variables so f or t is false or true and we get true and f and t is false and true which gives us false in case of multiple binary operations to make sure of precedence use parenthesis now type a equal to false b equal to true and c equal to true if we need the result of a and b odd with c we do open parenthesis a and b close parenthesis or c here first a and b is evaluated and then the result is odd with c and we get true but if we do a and open parenthesis b or c we see that the precedence has been changed and the result is false now python also has support for relational and logical operators so let's try some examples we start with initializing three variables by typing p comma z comma n equal to 1 comma 0 comma minus 1 to check the equality of two variables we use a double equal to so p equal to equal to z checks if 1 is equal to 0 which is false and p greater than or equal to n checks if 1 is greater than or equal to minus 1 which is true we can also check for multiple logical operations in one statement itself so n less than z less than p gives you true this statement checks if z is smaller than p and greater than n or in other words if z is in between n and p which is true and for inequality testing we use exclamation so type p plus n exclamation equal to z which is false this statement adds p and n and checks the equivalence with z we have already covered conversion between data types in some of the previous sessions briefly so now let's look at converting one data type into another let's create a float by typing z equal to 8.5 convert it into int by using i equal to int of z now let's see what is in i by typing print i we see that it's int 8 we can even check the data type of i by typing type of i we see that it has become int similarly float of 5 gives you float which is 5.0 now please type float underscore a equal to 2.0 and int underscore a equal to 2 17 by float underscore a which is 17 by 2.0 gives us 8.5 now int of 17 by float underscore a gives you 8 since int function truncates the decimal value of the result which is 8.5 now float of 17 by int a gives us 8.0 and not 8.5 because 17 by 2 is already truncated to 8 and converting that to float will not restore the lost decimal digits so to get the correct answer from such division we do 17 by float of int underscore a which gives us 8.5 now we have seen that int function chops a number how do we round a number to round off a float to a given precision we use the function called round so r o u n d round of 7.5 returns 8 so this brings us to, a, to to the end of the tutorial on introduction to data types related to numbers in python in this tutorial we have learned what are the supported data types for numbers operations and operators and how to convert one data type to another hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it useful thank you